Hey everybody, welcome back to Author Mastery's Omnipresence. Hey, this is gonna be amazing, and I'm super excited to share with this, this whole journey with you, but we're gonna talk about the practice website today and, and its role and, and involvement in Omnipresence. And I think the first thing to talk about with the website is one, you must have a website. Two, have an optimized website. And by optimization, we're talking search engine optimization, content optimization, understanding uh, about the message that you want to deliver and integrating that within not just the content of the website, but how it relates to the message that you want to deliver. But in relation to omnipresence, what I want to talk about there is how you are perceived and how you are seen with omnipresence. And for most people, because they don't have an optimized website, People aren't going to their website for a transformative experience. People may come to your website because they have said, who's a chiropractor in my local area? And they type in Google and Google brings you up. So you don't have relevance within the search engine unless somebody's specifically looking for you. That's not what we're talking about. We want you to have relevance and your website to have relevance because it is a place that people will come to, even if they are not part of your practice or seeking you out, because it holds value in the message that it shares, the information that it houses, and the value that it provides. So, I mean, this is my website, Provolution Health, and I'm not gonna go into detail, got the about us, our services, all of those factors, but up here you can see we've got the normal website elements, but we've now got, and my specialization is arthritis, and I've written a, a best-selling book, The Arthritis Solution, and you'll see throughout these, uh, these videos and the idea of omnipresence, I'll link it into The Arthritis Solution, because that is what, in part, apart from brain-based and philosophical principle chiropractic, I am known for. So we have a website, but if I click up here, which I've already done, you can see my website also has content on there about the Arthritis Solution Program. And again, I'm not gonna go through this in detail, but it's got my book, and then it has on there blogs, and it has sub spinal subluxation degeneration, osteoporosis, correct spinal alignment. So my website houses content, education, information that is valuable, even if you're not a patient or a practice. If you are a patient, and we're directing you with a uh, like a, a little email once in a while to say, here's some of the great content that's available, here's some of the information you want to know and to understand, then we're, we're of value to our practice, absolutely. But beyond that, if a community wanted to understand something about some of the elements we'll talk about in a moment, and they're searching, what are my solutions for arthritis? What are my solutions for? And think about whatever you may have as your area of specialization, interest or expertise. It may be that you work with executives or, or you may be a sports chiropractor or you may deal with um, stress or any, or pediatrics or family wellness, whatever your interest is, you'll have content, education and information available on your website, relevant to your level of expertise, providing value to your practice, to your patients, but to a wider audience as well. And so to that end, also on my website itself is my podcast. You know, what the arthritis myth, what interferes with healing, what is arthritis, the types of arthritis, what causes arthritis. So I have all of this content on my website. So my website holds value. So I am present to my patients who are interested in the message that I share, but I'm also present within my community for people looking for information on a topic that they want addressed for their own health and health challenges. And on top of that, you know, I have specific, I link it to other blogs, like is there a natural, um, and I've, I've, the Natural Treatment of Arthritis Institute, and I, and I blog on there as well, and then link and direct it back to my website. So I'm externally blogging, internally blogging, linking them so that people are coming to my website, so I'm present within my community for information and education relevant to my specialization and niche. So I love, you know, people thinking about, um, you know, as coming back to these pages here, just, you know, all of those start to make you realize that to be ever present, to be present in front of the, all of the audiences that you want to be part of, you know, I've spoken about speaking and I'm going to link this in, in a moment here. You speak about your topic area. Now I do presentations online on arthritis. I do presentations at events on arthritis. I talk on arthritis within my practice. And then I can link all of those as we'll see as this whole process unfolds. Um, I link those to my website as well. So when I have an event on, it's on my website. It links back there. And then I will, as I show, and I'll talk about this in here, we produce 
use that to produce content over here that then becomes our blogs, that becomes our um, podcasts, that becomes our videos that we put onto Facebook. So omnipresence, the reason we started with speak in whatever form is relevant for you is because that then can become the content that you need to live a value as a form of education into your practice, into the community at an expansive level. So that's the website, house it all there, make the website a valuable resource, not for marketing of your practice, well yes, do that, but for education of your patients and community and the platform of the website is a place to do that. So that's my thoughts on the role and the value of a website. We're gonna talk more on blogs on the next video. We'll look forward to seeing you then.